G'day, in today's video I'm replacing the display on a Samsung Galaxy Tab S. Now this all metal housing has been on my heat pad heat at 75 degrees for about the last 15 minutes. So the whole thing is quite hot to touch. Now I'm going to use a fin metal pry tool and some isopropyl alcohol to hopefully lift out this display with minimal issues. If I compare it with the new screen that I've got, I can see that here, I flip it over, I need to be careful of the connection down here, or the cable that runs from here to here, living in here. Right, that way. So I need to be cautious around this section. Otherwise, it's pretty much open season. I'll put a drizzle of alcohol on there. And when I use this, I should hopefully cut into the adhesive quite easily. No. Wants to be difficult. I think most of this will be picking out glass. Something along here, for example. That it was a small little ring, but that doesn't look to be of much importance. The side. On this section over here. that. Oops. Switch just to the manual brute force lift method, I think. Remove some of these shards here. Okay. Put it in. Lift up slightly. Adhesive. I can see a connection up here. If I go into here. Not quite. Go. Fold that over. Should be able to disconnect down here. Now we'll clean up the glass first. After I disconnect the LCD cable, we'll have to swap this cable over too to the new one. But I want to get rid of all this glass that's now floating around here. 
which isn't exactly helpful or pleasant. Turn that off. I think that's most of it. Now I'll give this a quick clean. So my glass cleaned up. Now I wanna, what I want to do is go over the outer edge with a brush. And by brush, I mean a toothbrush. Hopefully knock off any of the fine particles. Now what I want to do as well is use a flat and just go around the outer perimeter just to get rid of any potential glass that may be stuck into an edge. Get a few stuck over here. Let me quickly go over that one more time. Now I do know that this particular tablet is dead flat and off. Uh, so it's that side of things I won't have to worry about disconnecting the battery. Or I shouldn't have any dramas. Now what I want to do is grab the old screen and heat that up for a bit now. Transfer over this cable. So what I should be doing is lining up both of these side by side. I'll need to lift up the tape. Sit it on the cable there. Oops, sorry, you can't see that. Now I should be able to lift up this black, uh, lighter shade brown. And that should enable me to get the cable out like so. Should be able to do a similar thing over here. This does seem to be stuck down. There we go. Take off the tape. There we go and lift up the latch. There we go, pull that out. And then there we go, I've got what I need. Move this out of the way. Bring over the old one. And a matter of lining it up down the bottom here. Putting up the latch, feeding it in. To nearly the white line should match up with the white line and then push that latch back over on itself. And we can use the tape, put that over the top. And hopefully can line most of this up. Lift that up, take this off. Didn't really want to leave, that is disappointing. It's caused more hindrance and help. Next up. Flip this latch up again, this dark colored latch. Feed this in. It should go further than the other one. There are a couple of circles on there. So on up here and here, there's a small circle on the ribbon cable. There should be a pin that pushes into them. And when that's pushed in, you should know it's in the right spot. Now I'm gonna line it up with the plate that's here. Seems to be about there. Sadly, there's no real adhesive there now. So I'm going to have to put some down. So I'm just going to use some 
Pretty standard 3M double-sided tape. Nothing special about it. Put that down here. More boxed area. Out of the way, fold it over, push it down. So now with this prepped, we're going over to here. And what I'm wanting to do is trial fit to see, make sure that it, none of the edges are too far bent so it can actually fit in properly. So I'm going to connect it up. Actually, it won't even connect it up to begin with. I'll just loosely drop it in and see how it sits. So I've got one corner in, one corner in, one corner not quite in, and one corner, yeah, that should still get in there. I feel like one edge will not sit flush, But you don't want to force it. If you push it down and try and squeeze it into position, you're probably going to break the glass as there's probably a slight bend or a damage or a dint that's pushing in on it. Weirdly, as I'm holding it there, you can see a bit of black along here. So to me, it looks like it's actually slightly bent the frame. These edges here are pushed up and it's bent that way like a banana, so it'll be on around. Anyway, I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna put on some B7000 frame adhesive. You could potentially use some glue. Oh, sorry, double-sided tape, but I do prefer this frame adhesive. Now, work my way around this. I will need to be careful near the camera. And anywhere that there seems to be sensors. Up around here, there's one sensor here. There's the front facing camera. Use glue a bit sparingly around there. And keep going. Go. Next up is connecting the LCD connector. Lift this up. Feed that in. Up and over. Line should match, or these bits here, the two metal barbs should be pushing through. Fold it down, snap it into position. We'll do that. Okay, fold down, Once there, snap. The white line along the ribbon cable should be in line with the line that's already there. Now, I did just misplace the tape that went over here. Not sure where that had gone in the quick 30 seconds there. Never mind, found it on the old one. So I'll take that off here that over there and now just follow the line or follow the ribbon cable into its position and slowly work the screen down and just massage it around so you don't just heavily squeeze it I'm probably going to put a little clamp on here a couple of clamps on there just to hold it down but you could potentially just flip it over onto a clean surface and put a book on it. Or it's a couple, bit of weight. But I'm going to clamp a little bit. And I'll fire it up from there once, it's got to, uh, once I've let the glue set. Anyway, I hope that helps. Let's head to replace the display on the Samsung Galaxy T875 Tab S7. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.